Very excited now to be joined by the gallerist and core logos and the artist Tomas Lasansky. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. Thanks, Oliver. And Great how's your here. summer going so far? Summer's been great. I have to say, for all the bad news around the world, uh, people are finding that art enriches their life, and we've been busy and happy, and uh, a lot of great works going. Uh, up on our walls, and Tomas here is our show from last night. Excellent. So you had the opening last night. Uh, what kind of art are we seeing from you uh, in this show, Tomas? Um, primarily icons and muses. So there's a lot of portraits of uh, Lincoln, Einstein, Geronimo, Sitting Bull, and my wife is also has works in the show of some Lincolns and ballerinas. So it's paintings on canvas, linen. There's mixed media and their drawings and prints. Excellent, I know some amazing work. Uh, you mentioned Geronimo, and I know your gallery likes to focus on images of the West. Right. Tell us about your goal there at the Core Logos Gallery. Well, the goal was proven last night in a way, and I think we're on the right track. Our goal, we do have a lot of Western art, Western subject matter, but as I've said since I bought the gallery, I can do whatever I want, and I'm blessed <laughs> in having Tomas and Charlie Lazansky. Our goal is to introduce collectors to artists and artists to artists and artists to uh, other collectors and collectors to collectors and connect. And so what does that mean? It means that a night like last night, the people, we had a very good turnout and some really nice sales, but more importantly, people leave the gallery a little smarter than when they came in. And what I mean is they learned about Tomas and his family heritage, which he can talk better about, but he's from a very prominent family, his father in particular, printmakers from Iowa. And uh, many of the people there had heard the name, know of uh, his father Mauricio's work. And all of a sudden you expand a single show and then a show with also his wife into a real learning experience as well and an escape from uh, all of the world's problems into this <laughs> wonderful, almost spiritual part of your life. We should all exca escape in arts and culture every absolutely, once in a while. Absolutely, absolutely. More often than not. Tomas, tell me a little bit about that, about the influence of your father on your work that you're doing currently. Um, it actually goes past, my, my father's father and brother came to this country in 1908 from Lithuania to print for the Philadelphia Mint. It lasted about two years, eight, and uh, they ended up going back home. And then my dad uh, um, was in Argentina, was born in Argentina, and my mother, and uh, dad came over to this country with the Guggenheim and stayed. and. Uh, very large family, all the brothers and sisters and grandkids, everybody's are artists, writers, dancers, and that's just been a great environment to be in. Excellent, we do have to mention the new book, right. Hot right. Off the Presses, Icons and Muses, and uh, tell me about this image that we see here on the front. That's Portrait 21, which I actually, uh, it's my first print, um, and I did it when I was 19, finished it about 18, finished it about 19 and a half, and uh, that was, and that was, of all my work, that looks the most like my father's work because right. at that time I was in his studio working a lot with them, and from there it, it, it took its own path. But so there's a lot of dad's influence in that piece. Excellent. Well, it's a gorgeous book. It's Thank a gorgeous you. piece. Uh, and is this available at the gallery? It's available at the gallery and uh, in a couple of different versions and price ranges. And uh, this one comes with four prints. You're right. Of, four etchings. Uh, four etchings of uh, of Tomas's. And I'll mention that tomorrow. I mean, excuse me, today, today. it's today already. Uh, 11 to 1 today, Tomas will be doing a painting in the gallery, so oh, if excellent. anyone wants yep. to stop by. And tell people super. the address for the gallery. And the address is in Basalt, 211 Midland Avenue, the Ancorologus Gallery. And if they, if they want to find you on the web? You can find it at uh, ancorologusgallery.com. Excellent, guys. Thank you so thank much you. for being here. Thank Enjoy you. your time in yeah. Jackson. I know thank you're you. heading off on a tour of the West. We're going to take a break. We're back with a lot more of Plum Daily right after this.